Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to Valheim. I'm currently trying to not laugh at the weird backwards motion of the jump. I'm wondering if that has to do with the slope of the terrain that we're on. Maybe? Nope. Leveled up jumping. Anyway, we are back in the game after I did, as promised, spend a little bit of time cutting some trees down and then feeling cold, apparently. But I also found that I was making a bunch of axes and I needed to be able to repair them. And I had to look it up, but you have to use the workbench to repair things. And as you saw in the last episode, when I tried to use the workbench, it said, Oh, you don't have a roof. So, I built a roof. And then the workbench said it was too exposed, and I figured that that meant walls, but after I put this back wall in, it was still exposed. So, I was kind of confused, and I had to go on a bit of a YouTube adventure to figure out that it has to do with the direction of this wind, and whether or not it is currently, well blowing directly on the workbench. Now, this might be okay, because apparently it has to do more with the direction of the wind at the time that you placed the workbench. So here, yeah, we can still use it. But now we can go in and just sort of mash this button, and it repairs everything sort of one by one. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't use any resources. But yeah, so I learned that yesterday. And... I also learned something else, is that when you are chopping trees, it is quite possible to have the trees fall on you, and they will hurt you a lot. Hello, dear. Come here, you. Oh, I'm punching him to death. All right, come back here, dear. Yeah, I punched you. Take that. It's kind of funny, actually. And so, yeah, I didn't actually end up dying, but I did take a good bit of damage. Guys are, wow, okay, so Fisty Cuffs actually pretty decent after a couple levels, apparently. But yeah, so beware, trees will fall on you, and they will kill you. I also found, let me get my torch out here. Where was it? Hello, dear. <laughs> oh, man. I almost feel bad now, but that was kind of funny, actually. I'll, I'll chase after you. Eh, right now, why not? Get back here, dear. Oh, no, I'm out of... Ah. No! There we go. Kablooey. Best hunter. Hunting deer to death. But yeah, so anyway, back here I discovered a different kind of tree. We've been uh, chopping down birches, I think? Beech. Beech, not birch. Okay. But over here... I believe it is this one. Yeah, here we go. This is an oak tree, and apparently our axe is not good enough for it. It's just too hard. But apparently we can level up our skill by chopping it still. So there is that to consider. So I'm going to guess that at some point we'll be able to upgrade our axe and actually chop this tree down, I assume. So, in other news, um, this one's going to be a bit of a weird one, but um, yeah, let me look at the camera here. Um, yeah, so I... There we go. I, I caught the virus. You know which one. That one. You know, that has been going around for a while, since maybe, oh, 2020. But, uh, so that may impact the schedule of our videos in case I am rendered at some point unable to actually record if my voice goes out or if other things are afoot. So, this video may end up, like, coming out a while after that's all said and done because I'm still building up my uh, buffer of videos and if I can't build the buffer up... Oh, there we go. We took damage. But if I can't build the buffer up in time to get a decent release cycle going, then this might just come out kind of late. Otherwise, 
yeah, be aware that there might be a break in some episodes for a little bit. Anyway, I have a whole bunch of wood, but just looking at the cost to actually make anything. Let's see, building, we need two wood, one wood. We, we might have enough. Most things here seem to take two wood, so I'm going to guess that we're pretty close to having enough. I think I have like two and a half or three stacks of, of wood at the moment. But I'm going to spend a little bit of time just finishing up my inventory here, getting almost to max, and getting a little bit more wood before we start building. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll bring you all back when we are ready to start building our little house. Okay, it is now daytime, and we have a hefty collection of wood. We have, what, six stacks of wood, plus most of a second one, or seventh one. So I think that's good to go ahead and get started. Although I really don't have a good grasp of just how much material cost a small house would have. And these birds, they just take off. Look at how fast they are. Blam. Gone. Anyway, let's I'm kind of thinking that right around in here, probably right near this thing, is where I want to start building. And maybe let's even just go up to here. We'll take out this log real quick, just to get it out of the way. And then I think right in here is where we'll start building our first little, we'll call it a house. It might, it might end up being a shack, but we'll see. So we need our hammer, and then we need this, and I think, because the ground here is not particularly even, I think it would be wise to build on poles. Make a little... Yeah, we'll do that. I also learned that if you are outside of this area, you cannot build. Although you stand... Oh, no, get, get out of here. Come on. Really? These guys are incessant. Really annoying sometimes. Yeah, if you stand inside the circle, you can build outside of it. You can reach across. It's if you are outside, then you can't do anything. So, yeah, let's just start... This lane is not particularly flat, but... Let's just start right... Here. It seems like a good middle about the middle of where it is, you know, the height-wise. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. So then let's grab you. Can I snap you? So you don't snap to the center. But I wonder if I snap you like that. First of all, how far can I go? How much like arc is this? I can do... I can go for a while. Now, is that just because this is close enough to the ground here? I don't know. Anyway, oops, wrong button. Let's grab another pillar. Can I? Oh, I can snap you under there like that. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, before I get too deep into this, is this the right angle? So, standing here... We have a straight shot down to the water. I think we can make a nice little cottage overlooking the lake or whatever is up here. River. I see the other side, so maybe it's just a river. Go ahead and eat. Just in case we get ambushed again. There we go. But let's go ahead and build ourselves a small home hut-ish. Let's do pillars every couple, like so, except for you, apparently. Okay, I'm going to guess that this one does have some kind of ground support here, just based on the fact that I can't snap underneath it. So there's that. Let's, let's go ahead and... It's a six. Yeah, let's make a small six by six. Uh, maybe even not 6x6, six six, maybe just 6x4? Six 
will be wide enough. For a starter house, at least. Hmm. Or we could get really fancy and do like a an L shape. Yeah, we could do an L shape. Why not? Let's do an L shape. Let's grab you. And this building system reminds me very much of Ark, if you're familiar with that. I'm assuming that most people here have at least heard of Ark. But in Ark, you have this sort of free, free range placement with magnets. And this feels very similar to that. I don't know what it means when it says it's red. Oh, that's what it means. Okay. Don't do that, Corazar. Let's grab a couple more of these. Can I get one underneath there? I can. Okay, so you are now supported. I don't need... Oh, I can put one under there. Okay. I kind of think that I will do sort of as many as I can around here. Just to... Well, at least every other. Partly for the aesthetics, to make sure that it, you know, looks right also to make sure I don't end up doing what I just did. I think there are a few things that, that I would want to see in the building system in like the distant future, which is I don't like having to go into this menu all the time to pick the next thing. It is, it is kind of convenient in a way, but coming from having played like Space Engineers, where you can put your item in your hotbar, the crafting item in the hotbar, and then just scroll through a whole bunch of options is really handy. But this isn't the worst so far. I imagine it might get a little hairier once we get to having a lot more materials available. Okay, so now we want some more posts. There we go. I don't think we need one here, do we? No, we do not. Oop, that's a hitch. I am seeing a bunch of little hitches like that. I'm not sure what it is. I don't think it's the game saving, because that sort of we get a warning before it saves. So, yeah, we'll see. Okay. So then we need posts. Whoops. Ah, and you're not tall enough. Okay, so you're too tall. Well, that's a shame. How do I deal with that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can... Oh, we can do this at least. We'll put you there. And then... Oh, 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 that was close. I thought I saw it flash there for like a split second. Maybe not. Okay, well, let's just hope that that is enough support. Cross our fingers. Of course, that makes gaming hard. It's hard to game with crossed fingers, let me tell you. So I'm seeing these are all green, which I think is a good sign. Can I place one there? I can. Awesome. Okay, so... Let's get you are also not good enough. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You'll snap there. Why will you snap there, but not on the corner? You know what? You're so far out of sight, I don't think it'll matter. Okay, so I think what I want to do here is I want to get this stuff out of the way. And I want to start getting it put up into here. Maybe I'll finish out this floor first. I'm going to just sort of leave this 2x2 two two area open, and I might do like a little, I don't know, staircase up to a porch or something. We'll see. Or maybe I'll fill it all in, and then I'll just have like the 2x2 two two as a little deck. That's what we'll do. So I think the building in this game is... So far, not... The worst. When, once you understand, once you grok it, once you get the feel for kind of its quirks, I feel like it sort of clears itself up a little bit. But 
it doesn't do a great job of explaining to a neophyte like myself exactly what you have to do to get buildings working. And I will admit, I have watched other people, mostly Flinger Foo, play this game, and so I got a little bit of a feel for how to actually do some of the basic building stuff from watching that. So I'm not coming in completely blind, just only one eye about 10% open. So with this all here, okay, so we need to get the workbench covered, I think. So, okay, we have, we have walls. Let's do some walls, why not? Oops. Now what I want to know is, is there a way to make windows. Da -da -da -da. Not that kind of windows. But how do I... Is there a means of... creating a window? Maybe I can just use like a half wall or something. But I do think there should be some kind of window in wall rather than having to make it yourself. Unless I'm just not seeing what I need, like if it's something I just don't have access to yet. Did I build that little... I did have a wood chopper here. Or I, was gonna, I was gonna put one down, but... whoops. But I think I didn't have enough flint at the time, so maybe that will give us what we need. Chopping block, a workbench improvement. Okay. So, let's see, how far can I put you before you cease to work? Okay. So. Alright, I think. I think. I'm going to put a workbench up here first. And then we'll kind of take it from there. And I might even consider putting in a second floor in our house, just because this this feels a bit small, so I may put some things like a bed and whatnot up a floor. Put you, let's see, a workbench is probably a fairly common item, so let's put you kind of right in the middle of the floor in case there's like more that we need in order to place around. I need ten wood for you. Okay, so we need... Oops, don't walk in the fire again be doing that forever, won't I? And there we go. So then three chopping block. And that is definitely one thing that I would like to see changed is the... I really don't like the having to use the number keys. I'm very close to digging out my old 2014 Lefty Naga. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, that was it. I'm very close to digging out my old 2014 Lefty Naga so that I can actually have the buttons on my thumb. Just haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. Okay, now, is the reason that I can't do anything new because the chopping block doesn't do a whole lot for me? Or is it that I need to protect my workbench over here from wind first? I guess I'll find out soon, won't we? Okay, so, walls. Walls. Let's keep going the walls and get some of these guys in. Now, what I'm not sure of is I tend to kind of play, I realize, with my camera zoomed kind of pretty far out. So I wonder if I should be doing some half walls in here at, like, character level. And then just, like, when I'm in the house, I can have a little window to see out. I am ambivalent and undecided. Let's try a half wall. What would you look like here? Yeah, we can do some half walls. Why not? I'm putting them on purpose with the bracing sides pointed inward. Let's do that. Do one here. I think I won't put a window right behind the crafting station. 
We do, however, need a nice wide window overlooking the lake. Absolutely. The lake river. The, the liver. Okay, so now it's walls time. Leave from outside, I guess. Yep, there we go. Come on. Oh, I can't do it because... Oh, okay. Don't like that too much. Oh, I did learn that in order to remove a thing, you can take your hammer and middle click and you get... So I got ten wood back. What does one of these things cost to build? Ten wood. Okay, so you do get your stuff back, which is a relief. Oh, no. Why don't you pick it up? Okay, there we go. And then workbench. Man, these days just rush on by, don't they? Okay, there we go. So that's pretty cool. Okay, don't need repairs there. But it probably does need a roof, and it probably needs more walls. So the question is, what do I do about these windows? I think I want to do another set of walls up. What do I have left? Enough. Okay. Let's go ahead and can I get you... Oh dear, that's irritating. Get ready for the entire world to pause for a second, everybody. Now what we're going to do with that, we are going to gonna do these guys. Let's see, can I toggle snapping and shooting options? And that just sort of removes it from the grid. Okay. So that's not my favorite, but we will. I hope that yellow is okay. This is sort of change between green and yellow. Let's go ahead and we'll add another post in here. I should give those, yeah, they have more support now they're green, okay. And we could. Right, we can't hold a torch and build at the same time. Of course. Okie doke. Get out of my face. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and probably skip some building here. I'm just going to get the walls in and maybe just enough roof to have some over our workbench. And then I'll bring you back probably in the morning so we can actually see what we're doing. And well, then maybe it's feeling dangerous. I might put a couple wood torches down. Maybe one right there. How bright are you? You're not. Okay. Thanks. Let's put a couple of these down. And maybe I can work through the night. I am missing wood again. Okay. see that needing a lot of wood's going to be a theme, isn't it? There we go. Let's just drop you there for now. And yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do some wall building by moonlight, and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, everyone, welcome back. I have done a bit of work here. Got some walls up. I put these window frames in, and if you'll see, they are just the pillars, and there are horizontal ones here too. And I'm hoping so I'm hoping at some point we can 
find something that we can fill these with, whether it's glass or just something decorative that would at least block things from reaching in or shooting in. But for now, this will do fine. And then I started on a second floor. And by the way, these ladders are ridiculous. Like this hop, 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 hop. Kind of silly, but they're there. But I started the second floor here, and then I realized we're almost out of wood. So I wanted to take a look at chopping more trees down. But then I started tinkering around with the workbench over here. And I discovered... Oops, if I... There we go, put the hammer away. That one, we have a flint axe we can make, which takes six flint and four wood. As opposed to the four stone and five wood, which is it's just weird. Why would you take less wood anyway? Not my problem. Oh, we have a crude bow we can make too. Now, I don't know if this is because we have the materials or if it's because we don't have the uh, the wood chopping block over here. So you need a roof. So I guess it's not because of that. Cause that's too far away. So I think I want to make the flint axe. And then I was also poking around here. There is an upgrade path, which is kind of neat. Not sure why there are... Oh, because I have a stone. I have three of these. Okay, that makes sense. So, let's go ahead and grab some flint from here. I might at some point dump the stone axes. Yes, yeah, so we need... Oh, we need four more wood. And I dumped my wood in here. There we go. So let's make a whoops, let's make a couple flint axes. Oh, we can make a hoe as well. Okay. I'm not gonna argue. So flint axe. Now the flint axe does 20 damage as opposed to 15. So this should make chopping trees down significantly less grindy, which I'm really, really hoping. I mean boy am I hoping this will fix that problem. And I wonder if we can upgrade you. Flint Axe requires leather scraps, and we'll get 25 damage and more durability. Sign me up! Leather scraps. Yes, please. Get me around here. Okay, so let's upgrade the Flint Axe. Why is it saying missing requirement? What do I need? Two, two, two. Oh, is that the workbench? It's a very small workbench, guys. By guys, I mean the probably mod authors. Okay, so we need a level two workbench, which, as I recall, I think this thing levels up the workbench. So once we get a bit of a roof on here, maybe we can upgrade our new flint packs. And you know what? Maybe we can just do that right now because. I do have enough wood to make the, oops, the flooring. Let's drop these off here. Can you carry now? I can. Let's go ahead and I'm going to finish off the flooring here. And then we'll go ahead and try upgrading our flint axe. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All right, we have a second floor going on. Small but serviceable. And I think it's time for us to... Needs a roof. Oh, you're going to tell me that I have to actually have a roof-type block above it? That's... That's a little annoying. And if that's the case, then we're just going to do without the flint axe upgrade. We're just going to... Probably tuck some more storage back in here. Crafting furniture. But we need more wood for the chest, apparently. Is that we're out of? Yeah, I didn't think we were out of wood. No, oh, shoot. I think we're actually out of wood this time. Uh, yep, we are. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and chop some more trees down. 
This is, uh... Yeah, the tree chop bridge is a bit painful, but I'm hoping if we can get at least one upgrade on this flint axe, then maybe we can speed things up and just get this whole building done. So, yeah, I'm going to chop probably through the night, and then I will bring you back, and hopefully we can do a building session in the morning before we wrap this episode up. I want to get a roof on here, and I want to get this workstation here functional before we do anything else. So, yeah, that's the goal today, and that'll be that. See you on a bit, or for you guys, it'll be like three seconds. Okay, so it is the aforementioned next morning, and a couple things. One is that every day is announced with, like, bright yellow number, like, day four, day five. I think we're on five today on the screen. And that's kind of got me concerned, like, is there some kind of seven days to die thing where, like, in seven days or on, on day seven am I going to have, like, a blood moon to worry about? I mean, I guess we'll sort of figure that out when we get there, but, uh, cool. The other thing is that, yes, even without upgrades, the flint axe is quite a bit better than the stone axe we're using now. I just, I'm using the stone axe now because I didn't get a chance to go back and fix it. But I think this is going to be our last log for the morning. Yeah, we've got a full stack at home and a bunch of stacks here, so I think we'll be good for a little while. I don't think we're going to be finishing the upper walls with this load here. I think we can at least get enough to put the roof on and see about getting this workstation you know, working. So, let's go ahead and repair all of our stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Just click that button a bunch of times. Kind of silly mechanic. I mean, it doesn't cost anything. But time, hello, my friend. I've also been practicing blocking with these guys. They deal less than one damage on a block, so... I kind of let him hit me a couple times, and... Get my block skill up, which I think is probably important for later. So, thank you. I will never catch those things. Let's put you away. And... Let's see, how much wood do I have? Oh yeah, I did put down, what's the, seven chests here. We have stone. We have wood. Put you in there for now. Oh, the chests? Okay, they don't have a limit, okay. We have non-stone mineral and stone things, so right now coal and flint. And oh, by the way, I did discover that if you do leave your meat on the fire too long, they become coal. So, um, don't do that. We have animal goods that are not trophies. We have plant goods. We have animal trophies. And then we have meat or food, and then I also just took my stone action here. By which I mean, I chucked my stone axe in here. Get those marbles out of your mouth, Corazar. Um, and yeah, so... I could do for maybe a couple more chests, and I might do that here soon. But they cost ten wood each, so... They're actually kind of pricey. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, these arrows I got from one of the... Oh, it was the outhouse. There was a hidden chest up in the ceiling of the outhouse that we found out right about there, I think. So, yeah, that's why I have a couple arrows. But let's go ahead and... Right, we need to get our hammer out. And what I did... is that down here, underneath the floor here, I actually took out one of these because I realized there was not a sort of supporting pillar underneath here that contacted the ground. So, I put these pillars in, and they were showing up yellow and red. But once I put the support in, they now show up green. Which means that we should, in theory, be able to snap some more pillars to it. I'm going to keep doing that, aren't I? And they should... Let's see, where are you? You should be green. Yes, you're green. Okay. Perfect. Oh, why are you yellow? You should not be yellow. Is it because I'm putting you on the side? And you... 
should be snapping there. Okay, I'm hoping this yellow just because of the side rather than the top. I don't know. I guess we'll find out, won't we? We'll be very sad when we do, most likely. Now, what I'm thinking is... Let's just get some of these walls in place, and then we'll just chuck part of a roof on. Now, let's see. I could eat another bite. I'll bet I could. Okay, let's go ahead and make a little, like, bedroom corner, maybe? I don't see the need for, like, an actual room. But I think I could do, like, a bit of a corner where we don't have windows, so I can just sort of rest out of sight of the sun, and maybe we'll have a window, we'll have a largish window here, we'll have a, another large window there, and then here, I want to have a door out to this balcony. Maybe we'll even have a little window there, I'm thinking. You know, I think we have to, so we can have a nice view of the lake from the second floor. So, let's do, we'll just do a pillar here in this corner. Like so. And then we can get our half walls in before I forget. There we go. Get these guys in. And I might hold off on putting up the pillars that I had done previously, just because they are two wood each. I might do that in between episodes. So, is there maybe the pillar that's going to have to go in the middle here? Are you green? You are green. You're not green, you're yellow. Why are you yellow? You should have support. I think. You're orange. I don't like that too much. Okay. Let's maybe head downstairs and find out why we're yellow and orange. And not nice and happy and green. I want green. Green is happy. Let's see, is it because we need to snap you in there? That might be it. Uh, shows, but not too badly. Let's sprint our way around here. Erp. I want... Let's try a shorty instead. See if that fixes our problems. Up we go. Hoppity 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 hop. We are there's still yellow up here. Why is that? Is there like a sort of hard height limit? Oh, there's a weight limit on these, isn't there? Oh boy, that's gonna be rough. Okay, well, uh, maybe a second floor wasn't the best idea, but, um, we're doing it. We're doing it. So, let's go ahead and, ooh, do I want to do, I don't want to put the roof, like, right on top of here, because it's going to be kind of right in my way, like, it'll look funny these little sort of flat, tiny windows. So, let's go ahead and hit the wrong button again. Let's do some short walls. And we're gonna just hope that we don't uh, wreck our house. Now, you're gonna have to go, actually. Risky. It's risky indeed. 
Okay, so from there, let's see. First, how much wood do we have? We have plenty. Okay. Let's try for some roof. We have 26 degrees. And we have 45 degree roofs. Let's, you know what? Let's do a sort of shallower roof. There we go. Okay, please don't explode on me. I don't like roof explosions. Okay, it doesn't seem to like that too, too much. So, let's see about getting pillar up there. Yeah, okay, oh, not, not great. It's not great at all, okay. Well... Doesn't seem like that is degrading or anything, so let's just keep it up. And then we will support you with that there. Do you like that? You don't like that a whole lot. Okay. Ooh, this roof is all red. That makes me nervous. That makes me real nervous. Okay. Also, it is... Wow. It is really wet now. Okay. That's a lot of rain. That's a lot of water. Now let's get down here. And I'm going to grab another stack of wood. Right. I don't like that you can't interact with anything, basically, while you are in build mode. I mean, I get why. But it is kind of irritating to have to, again lift my hand off of the movement keys and then over to what I need to do over here. Okay, so let's see if it makes sense to door this up with some pillars here. If I can press the right button. There we go. So we'll just do a couple of these, and you don't seem to like that any more than you did before. Let's see about that. Does that help at all? Eh, it helps a little. It seems to help a little bit, but not a ton. Okay. So not quite ideal. All right. I'm not sure what the answer is. is it, yeah, I think it is definitely a weight thing because we're very green down here. As we go up, we become less and less happy. That's a real shame. Okay, so I guess we're not building any like giant fortresses. Or anything. Okay, well, I'm going to fiddle with this, and I'll bring you all back when the roof is done, and we will see if anything decides that it needs to uh, fall apart. Now, why are you at less than full health? You see that? Some of these are not at full health, and why is that? Is it because of the rain? Like, specifically because of the... Oh, it is because of the rain. Oh, that's so mean. Oh, that is so mean. Okay. You're at full health because you're under the roof. You're not at full health because you're not under the roof. Which means we have to have a roof for this stuff out here, too. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. That is... That is going to be interesting. That is going to be interesting. Indeed. Well, let's hurry up and get some roof on here. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'll bring y'all back when this is all done. And hopefully we still have a house. Wish me luck. 
Alright everyone, we have everything in place here, but now I'm actually going around and repairing everything. Which apparently you can do with the hammer, again, for free, as far as materials go. It just takes a bit of time and some stamina and some durability of your hammer, which again is free to repair, so effectively, aside from time, it is all free, which... That's fine. This isn't quite how I'd design it if I were the game dev, but I'm not the game dev, so what do I know? Okay, up here, everything's good. Oh, missed one. There we go. Oh, ladders are a little rickety. Fix you guys up. All my floor. Oh, missed a floor. Okay, I think... Everything here is golden. So I keep finding more. Now the porch needs some touch up. There we go. These walls are all good. These pillars are healthy. Okay. And I think, yep. You can tell here also, like, there's a bit of a weathering effect applied to blocks that are low on health. Like, see how this one's a nice sort of golden honeyed color, or auburn color. This one's a bit grayer. Blam, now it's sort of that nice red color, so... You can kind of tell just by looking at it, but using the indicator bar is much easier. Oop, and there goes my thing again. But this is actually... Oh, we can actually upgrade. Let's go get some Flint, and I do have enough wood. Just barely, because we are out of wood now. Let's grab our flint, and let's go ahead and see about upgrading our flint axe. Oh, other scraps, right. That would be in this one. Yeah, okay. All right. Can we get a flint knife, too? Tiny damage. Okay. Flint Axe. Let's upgrade. We'll get 25 slashing damage. More blocking force and better durability. Yeah. Okay. Now, if we were to have a level 3 workbench, we could bump it up by 5 more damage, 5 more block force, and 30 more durability. Well... This house is not done, but it has been a day, both in real life and in-game. So, yeah, I think that's a good place to call it. Let's get down the light. Just wanted to get this house done, and I am enjoying how it came out. So, in between episodes, I am going to finish repairing the house. I'll go restock our wood, probably gather some more materials especially stone and flint, and then we will move on to the next thing, which I don't quite know what it is yet, so we may have to go exploring. Oh, right, we do have this Eichther, Eichther thing that we need to go investigate, so we could do that at some point, too. Anyway, that is about all we have time for in this episode of Valheim. My name has been Corazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.